Last year, the State Minister for Environment, Mary Goretti Chitutu, visited Shironko District after severe mudslide had occurred there, killing scores of people. During her visit, the minister warned residents in these disaster-prone areas on the slopes of Mount Elgon to vacate them. But when I assess here, here we should not use it for settlement, but we can have other land uses like agriculture can be here. But those houses, we don't need people to be here because these are now high-risk areas. While speaking a day after another disaster in Bududa district, the minister, who is also an expert in geology, explained that landslides have always been a factor of life in the area, but they have only increased over the last few years due to human activity. These landslides date as early as even in the 1800s, but the intensity at that time was lower. Now, why Bududa? It is through the geological processes that we have Bududa very sensitive. It is one of the most sensitive zones in the whole of Gisu region. The minister also further reveals that rain is the main trigger for landslide and that the growth in population in the areas and increased human activity have made it extremely hard to mitigate against the occurrence. The triggering is rain. When you don't have rain, you will not get a landslide. Then we have the preparatory factors, those which enable the landslide to cut. So these are steep slopes. Then we have the soil types. Then we have even our practices, undercutting. You know, people go undercut the hills. You are now making a hanging side. That's when you slide. Chitutu also recommends the people in the air to be resettled elsewhere to allow for extensive restoration of the areas on the slopes of Mount Algon. To get these people into gazetted either town centers or town boards or town councils, out of the hills. So the hills should not be used for settlement. The hills should only be used for other land uses like agriculture, but under good agroforestry. Among other things, Kitutu also wants government to include mountainous areas in its master plan for big towns and cities, like it has done for Kampala. At least 40 people have now been confirmed dead following mudslides that occurred on Thursday afternoon after River Sume burst its banks in Bududa district. The search for several other people and families who are still missing is still going on and has been intensified. Sohel Mugabe, NTV, Weekend Edition.